Okay, I I apologize. I apologize. I apologize. Uh, the young the, the woman of God who was coming on was texting me and messaging me, basically saying she couldn't see the live. So I got to jump off to respond um to her texts and everything like that. So as you guys come back on, come on, we're gonna begin to build an audience. We're gonna begin to move. We're gonna begin to trust God like never before. People of God, come on, come on. I need y'all to tap in and tune in, tap in and tune in, tap in and tune in, tap in and tune in. I apologize, but I jumped off live because the woman of God was texting me saying she didn't see the live. So my apologies. People of God, I need y'all to come on. We are on on 926 of the shift is now. God is up to something and he's been moving miraculously. So I need y'all to come on and help me upset the devil today by tagging a friend, tagging a family member, tagging a co-worker, tagging somebody you love and you care about today. We are jumping on live 926 of our 30 day social media revival saying we're not never scared. We are jumping on 926 of our 30 a social media revival saying the shift is now. I'm looking for some people who need God to shift their finances. I'm looking for some people who need God to shift their relationships with family members. Some of you don't get along with your own mom and daddy and they made you. There needs to be a shift. I'm looking for some people who watch this need God to shift what the naysayers said about them. That they will never be anything. That they will never accomplish anything. I'm looking for some people who can shift things like crazy people of God I don't know about you but I'm expecting a word people of God I don't know about you but I'm expecting God to show up and show out you've been to the back long enough you've waited in line patiently and now it's your season the shift is shifting you from the back of the line to the front of the line it's your time to be blessed it's your time to be honored it's your time to be come on somebody elevated by God Elevated in your ministry, elevated in your household. There's no respect for you in your own house and you paying all the bills. Elevated, come on, somebody, on a whole nother level on the job site. Oh, I don't know about you. But I need some people for the next four minutes to begin to just, come on, tag somebody, tag somebody, tag somebody. It's like we're doing tag, you're in. I remember when we used to be running and we used to be chasing. The person would have to close their eyes and count to 10 and run and chase somebody down and tag them and say, you're in. Right now, I want you to just begin to tag other people. Tag, you're in, tag, you're in. This video is not only going to help you shift, but it's going to help me too. So tag, you're in. I care about you, so tag, you're in. I'm praying for you, so tag, you're in. I need some people who don't mind saying, God, I am in a place where I need you now. I am in a place where, God, I need night 26 of the 30-day shift, God. I am in a place where, God, I don't have nothing else or nothing left to do but trust you because I am in the lowest point of my life. Wonder God, if you are on, just begin to comment below your own on so I can know you're on live in advance so we can get started. I want to say welcome. If this is your first time on my page, I am Evangelist Shakira McFadden. You're on a page where, watch this, you will be uplifted, where you will be motivated, where you will have people genuinely praying for you, where you'll learn the difference from sugar and salt. It's too many people. There's sugar coat and everything. It's too many people acting like they got it all together and really don't. It's too many people. Come on, people of God, afraid to say I'm broken, I'm frustrated, and I need you. So I'm going to bring on the minister on tonight, the woman of God who is coming to give us a word and to shift us in the spiritual realm. We are on 926 of the shift is Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. How are you, woman of God? God bless you, woman of God. How are you? I'm well. I'm great. I'm going to let God use you. Thank you for gracing my platform. Um, thank you for being here on 926 of the shift is now. And I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm hungry for a word. I'm sure they all lie. Um, I just let God use you. Amen. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. Before I go any further, I want to give honor to God who is definitely the God of my life. And I would count it robbery if I did not 
give uh, honor for you, lady, woman of God. Thank you for allowing me to be on your platform tonight. Now, I want you to do about two things before I pray. I want you to get yourself prepared and say the shift is about to happen tonight in my mind. Because yes. the Lord been dealing with me about a week or so, and the Lord said that the shift has to start in your mind. I want you to begin to declare over your mind that after tonight, my life will never be the same. After tonight, my mind is going to transition. After tonight, I will no longer look the same. After tonight, I will no longer feel the same. After tonight, I will no longer breathe the same. Come on, I'm going to slow down a little bit. I want you to prepare yourself, prepare yourself, because I didn't come to play. I came to slay. Come on, I want you to prepare yourself, get yourself ready for what God is about to do on tonight. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we glorify you all tonight. We give you all praise and we give you all glory, God. We exalt your holy name, for your name is great, oh God, and worthy to be praised. And we lift you up and we exalt you all tonight, for you are El Shaddai. You are El Elyon and Elohim, oh God. And so for that, God, now, Father, we repent for all sin, iniquity, and transgression. For every spot, sin, blemish, and wrinkle upon our life. And for everything, God, that we have said to the Father that was not righteous, holy, or pleasing unto you. And we pray, God, that your glory will fall on tonight. We pray, God, that your oil, Shaka, will fall on tonight. We pray, God, for fresh anointing, fresh wind, fresh fire, in the name of Jesus. Now, say that the Lord God rebukes you. Oh. I got nozzles on my voice. That's okay. why I use the microphone. 
It's going to cause me to close okay, my mouth. Okay, go ahead. Okay, go ahead. A mic, the nodules, the enemy has been trying to fight me. You know what? That's what the Lord kept telling me to tell the people. The reason why I'm on a microphone, I don't have a show of spirit. I, I, I engage real warfare every day. The enemy has been trying to close off my vocal cords because he wants to stop the sound. He wants to close off my mouth. But the gates of hell shall not prevail against me. I don't care what I gotta do, I declare. In the name of Jesus, that I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep preaching the word of God. I'm not forcing I dare you to keep going. I dare you to keep preaching the word of God. I'm gonna slow down just a little bit. Y'all forgive me. Because I've been accused of having a little bit of Holy Ghost ADHD. I get a little hyper in the Holy Ghost. I that God excited God is going to do. But one thing I know that he's going to do. One thing you can expect tonight. You can expect breakthrough. You can expect increase. You can expect overflow. You can expect healing. You can expect ocean. Oh, I hear the Lord say, whatever it is for the asking, we get to declare it's yours, it's yours, it's mine. Come on, it's mine for the making. One of the ones that she's going to have. I need you to know something real quick. I took a lot of notes. I've been in the presence of God for the last week. And God has really been dealing with me about the shift. He's been really dealing with me about how we're supposed to shift. We cannot shift unless. Not shift unless shifting takes third place in the mind. I want you to declare this out of your mouth. Tonight is the night of power. You have words, and words produce power, and they create life, not only for you, but for those around you. And because of this, we are going to begin to declare some things. We're going to release a few, few declarations. Wherever you're at, whether you're on your job, whether you're in your bathroom or in your bedroom, whether you're in the store or in your car, the Lord said, forget to declare over your life. Because we've been praying and we've been fasting. We've been believing and we've been crying. We've been weeping and we've been falling out. And we've been snotting all over the place. But I decree and declare in the name of Jesus that on tonight that somebody shall be healed. Somebody shall be delivered. Your shift is right now. God said, you ain't got to wait. Mm. You ain't got to wait till tomorrow. You ain't got to wait until in the morning. You don't got to wait until the end of this life. I dare you to put your mind on God. And God said, you a shift right now. I want you to know that tonight, say this real quick tonight, is my double matter. That means whatever I came on here with, I put it on the altar tonight. Whatever I've been going through, I put it on the altar tonight. Whatever I've been dealing with, I put it on the altar tonight. Whatever has been battling me, I put it on the altar. Nothing that's going to stop me from getting my shit. Oh God, I feel the Holy Ghost. Come on, the Bible says, as a man thinketh, so is he. The Spirit of the Lord told me to tell you tonight, whatever you're thinking is what you're going to sow. Whatever you sow is what you're going to reap. The Lord said to say this out of your mouth. Starting tonight, I will not turn every day by the harvest that I reap. But I will turn it by the seeds that I sow. Come on, I want you to release it out of your mouth. Y'all give me a minute. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to bring her back on. I don't know if someone was calling her phone, but it it, it kicked her. 
it, it kicked her off. Let me explain something before I bring her back on. She said the reason she's using a microphone is because she's challenged or something in her vocal cords. So it, I just need y'all to try your best to press in to try to hear her voice. I know it sounds muffled. Um, um, I didn't know she was going to be using a microphone, but we have to learn to adjust so you can get the word. Um, I'm going to try to bring her back on again. Just hold on. Uh, hallelujah, Jesus. Just hold on, people of God. I'm going to try to bring her on again. Woman of God, if you're on here, please just comment below you're on. If you're on here, please comment below you're on. If, if you can begin to tag her, Sabrina. Just hold on. We're going to try to bring her back on again. Um, I just need her to comment below that she's on. Just comment below that you're, she's on. Uh, she's getting a lot of phone calls, doing the live. And every time she gets a call, it mutes her. So, people of God, just please be a little a little patient. I'm going to try to bring her home, bring her on again. <laughs> I'm going to try to bring her on again. We'll give it one more try. And then if not, we'll shift, you know, and I'll kind of take over the lives. Um, but I know it's nothing but the, you know, the enemy with this, with her voice. She getting phone calls. She must have a word inside her belly for us. So we're going we're gonna to try this again. We're going to try this again. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So I'm just waiting on her to tell me she's on. Things um, that bless me on a whole nother level um she was saying you got to begin to shift your mindset she was saying that you are what you think basically you got to begin to think differently if you can just tag her sabrina a few people if you can just begin to tag her i'm just waiting for her to come back on the live uh people of god and we'll 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 try this uh again um i need the intercessors praying because this is the first time well, we had this much warfare so soon. So we're going to we're gonna continue to pray as we begin to bring her on. And we're, we're, we're praying that she's able to speak clearly so we can hear her. It's so hard to hear anything she's saying using the microphone. But she said her voice is being challenged. We'll try it again. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, woman of God. Okay. Let's go. Come on. This ain't everybody's shit, though. This ain't nothing but the devil. But the devil is a liar. This word is going to come out tonight. I labor for this word. I suffer for this word. Is this a little bit better? Can you hear me now? I have to turn down the pain and whatever I got to do. I said, Lord, it's a little bit hot. If I cut off the fan, I'm going to get hot. He said, but if you don't deliver this word, there are people that are going to bust hell wide open. And hell is a lot harder than what you feel. Got to cut off the fan and preach my word. And so tonight, I want to declare over the people of God. It's not just a lie. It's a bunch of people all of a sudden want to call me. The minute I begin to minister, they want to call. But the devil is a liar. Huh? I bind up the shakaya. I bind up the hands of the devil. I bind up the works of the devil. I bind up the schemes of the devil. Because God has given me a power and authority in the earth realm to do so. Say that you are a liar. And the blood of my social, the blood of Jesus, is a gift. I want everybody real quick just to put on the screen the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus over my mind. I plead the blood of Jesus over this life. I plead the blood of Jesus over my house. I plead the blood. The blood still works. Come on, put the blood still works. The blood is still working. The blood is working for me. Can you not hear me? You can't hear me? Yes. Okay, the blood. Somebody say the blood, the blood, the blood. All right, the next declaration, we were at the part of the declaration. The next declaration I want you to say, before the reward comes, there must be labor. There can be no promises to work the process. The Lord told me to tell you to say this out of your mouth. I will not get weary in my well-doing, but I shall reap if I faint not. The next thing I want to tell you, the Bible says, what profit the man to gain the whole world and use his soul? The Lord said to declare out of your mouth from 
I don't want you to just type it on the screen, but I need you to open up your mouth. I need you to open your mouth and say that I will not focus on spiritual on financial gain, but I'm going to focus on spiritual maturity. I'm going to focus on how I can gain in the spirit. Hallelujah, glory to God. The next declaration, the Bible says that the promises of God are yea and amen concerning me. I want you to say that real quick. The promise is of God. I day and amen concerning me. That means whatever God has promised me, because he is not a God that he should lie, nor are he the son of man that he shall repent. That means whatever God has said to me, whatever God has promised me, that it shall come to pass. I want you to open up your mouth and say, I will stand on the promises of God. I will stand on the promises of God. I will not be shaken. I will not move until God do what he said he's going to do concerning me. Oh God, the Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God yes. and his righteousness and yes. all the other things shall be added unto you. Come on, that's I it. Will, I want you to I can hear you. I can hear you. Listen, sis, I can, I can hear you better. We can hear you like that. Just I want you let to God have his way. Put the mic down. I want you to declare out of your mouth in the name of Jesus from this day going forward I possess the mind of Christ. Yes. And I have no matter what it takes to Come on. have a great attitude. Mm. And it may not be easy. It yes. may not be that hard. But no matter what, I'm going to trust God because his yoke is easy and his burden is light. No matter what, God is going to make a way. Yes, God. If I catch the shift, God is going to make a way. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, God, bless me indeed. Oh, God, bless my territory. Oh, God, touch my voice. Let me be the example and the living testimony as I have sacrificed my life unto you. Come on, the book of Exodus. God sends Moses to tell Pharaoh to let his people go. Yes. I want you to say out of your mouth, I declare in the name of Jesus. Mm, 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 mm. God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh, Jesus, 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 Jesus. She keep, get, she keep getting kicked off. Oh my God, it's the, the phone calls are coming in. Soon as we was able to hear her, nothing but the devil, nothing but the devil. Come on, come back on, sis, come back on. We're going to do this a hundred times if we got to. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come back on, come back on. Come back on. I just need you to comment that you own. We're going to do this a hundred times if we got to. We're going to do this a hundred times if we got to. Soon as she put down the mic and we was able to hear her clearer. I think she got another phone call again. Every time she get a phone call, the, the, the whole computer glitches. Wow, 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 wow. Woman of God, I need you to just comment that you're on. Just comment that you're back on. Just comment that you're back on. That's coming. Just, 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 come on, come on. Just comment that you're back on, woman of God. I'm just waiting for her to comment that she's back on. I wish she would just jump off and jump back on. You know what I mean? Um, God, listen. <laughs> oh, my God, my God, my God, my God. I, I want to give her the opportunity to minister because she stated that she warred for this life. So I want to give her the opportunity. There she go. There she go. There she go. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Come on, my God. This tells me 
that something's about to happen. Yes. This tells me that something is about to happen. When the warfare is this heavy, this tells me that something is happening. Yes. It must first happen in the, in, the, in the spirit realm. And when it begins to happen in the spirit realm, something begins to happen in the earth realm. I decree and declare in the name of Jesus that the next time that phone gets ready to ring, sure. the angels are gonna lock it up in the name of Jesus. Oh God, Rabbi Soshagaya. The Bible says uh, in the book of Exodus, watch this. God sends Moses to tell Pharaoh uh, to let my people go. I want you to declare this out of your mouth. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, what has been holding me hostage, uh, what has been crippling my destiny, uh, yes, what has been trying to frustrate my future, uh, yes, tonight God. that it must die by fire. Uh, in Ooh. the name of Jesus, uh, what has been trying to hinder me, uh, what has been trying to shackle me, uh, what has been trying to suppress me, uh, it got to die by fire. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, <coughs> Y'all pray for my vocal cords. Because tonight is the night. God said if I keep preaching long enough, I might mess around and get free tonight. Come on! I know. A shift is going to happen. God said if you mess around and believe it real quickly, you might go ahead and get free tonight. Yes. Mm, 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 mm. I want you to say this. I want you to declare. Because the Bible says that we have power of life and death and in life in our tongues. And when we begin to declare a thing, we speak life, oh God, of our social. We speak life to our futures. We speak life to our destinies. We speak life to our promises. We cause God to breathe on us. We cause God to breathe on what we're hoping for. We cause God to breathe on that which we believe. And the shift begins to happen. So that's the reason why I want you to declare it out of your mouth. I'm declaring it for me and you. But God said, well, there are two of three. Come on! Together in my name, touching and agreeing, whatsoever you shall ask, it shall be done for you. Yes. And so I want you to declare out of your mouth that tonight, from this day going forth, every season is my season. Yes. Stop limiting the season. You don't just have a season that's cold. You don't just have a season that's hot. You don't just have a season that gains. You don't just have a season to lose. But God said every season is your season. So I want you to say this out of your mouth. This is my season to flourish. This is my season to grow. This is my season to recover. This is my season of expansion. This is my season of remembrance. This is my season of achievement. This is my season of advancement. This is my season of acceleration. This is my season of fulfillment. This is my season of breakthrough. This is my season of power. This is my season of dominion. This is my season of freedom. This is my season of overflow. This is my season of increase. This is my season of success. And the Lord said, there shall be evidence of his glory on your life. Mm. Yes, God. I want you to say this real quick. It's harvest time. And Mm. the shift is now. Yes. say it's harvest time. And the shift is now. Come on, you've been waiting on your harvest. You've been begging and pleading for your harvest. God said it is not time to break down now. It is not time to stop believing now. Because now it's time to eat. Now it's time to grow. Yeah. And the Lord saying, now it's time to go. Everything that's been troubling you must go as you go. In the name of Jesus. Hey. Oh God. So hey, 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 hey. Oh God. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Oh, Jesus. Hey, God. God said there shall be evidence. 
You ain't going to have to tell nobody about it and hope that somebody believe you. God said, there shall be evidence of that which he spoke over your life. There shall be evidence of that what he said about you. There shall be evidence. Woman of God, I want to tell you, I hear the Lord saying, they may not like you. They may not get along with you. But God said, your anointing is going to prove who you are. God said, your anointing it's going to speak for you. God yes. said the anointing that he placed on your life is the evidence of his glory in the earth realm. I want to declare over your life that God said that you're not just a glory carrier, yes. but you are a glory distributor. When you go into the presence of people, God said you're going to release his glory and yoke that have been holding people hostage and holding them down and suppressing them. And they've been walking around around with a smile on their face, but on the inside, they're dealing with depression. God said, just like the days of the Bible, when you walk into the presence of the people, your shadow shall heal them. Your shadow Ooh. shall deliver them. Yeah, In the name of Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Oh, God. I want somebody to say, it's about to get up close and personal. Uh. It's about to get up close and personal. It's not enough to sense and don't say. God said, shift or be shifted. This yeah. is a prophetic word. God said, shift or be shifted. God is about to shift you from the hands of the sifter. I hear the Lord said, I'm about to sift you. I'm about to shift you from the hands of the sifter into the hands of the shifter. Yes. Oh, I'm about to have you be shifted into the hands of the sifter. But either way, you must shift. Somebody say the shift is now. Oh, oh God. Jesus. Oh, ba 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 sashatala. Ah. Come on, tonight I'm gonna come from. I'm gonna try to get it all out. But the Lord said, she talk about soccer, she talk. The Lord said, let me do what I want to do. And if anybody know me just on this life, I don't play with God. I let God have his way because I know that there's no better way than God's way. But the Bible says in the Proverbs, the 23rd chapter, starting at verse 1, it says, when you sit down to eat with the ruler, consider carefully what is before you and put a knife to your throat. Wait a minute, you need to tell me that God wants me to put a knife to my own throat. If you are a man that is given to appetite, the Lord says, yes, you might as well go ahead and kill yourself. You might as well go ahead and take your own life. If you have been given over to the things of this world, you might as well give up everything that you've been doing. You might as well let it go. If you are given over to appetite, to food and, and, and the things and the necessities of this world, if you have been given over to money and gluttony, if you have been given over to uh, going to work every day and not praying, God said you might as well go ahead and cut your own throat. Verse 3 says, do not, despise, do not desire his delicacies, for they are deceptive as food. Oh God, help me preach this thing, Holy Ghost. When you sit down with a king, let me slow down. I want y'all to get this real clearly. When you sit down with a king, we think of royalty, and we think of kings having the finest things, such as gold and jewelry and lots of money, elegant attire. We've lost control, the Lord said. We've lost control of our senses. And the attraction of this world has had us consumed by the need for things, and we don't know it. Oh, God, help me preach this thing. The things of this world has consumed our mind. They have consumed the way that we think. They have consumed the way that we see things. They have consumed the way that we believe. And the Lord said that many of my people, they don't even understand and know. They have been consumed with gladness things. Oh God, help me preach this thing. Oh God, 
and going on to verse 4 it says do not overwork to be rich because of your own understanding he said cease will you set your eyes on that which is not for riches certainly make themselves wings they fly away like eagles towards heaven i want you to know that oh god being consumed, we have been consumed by carnal mystic illusions. We have been consumed. The Lord said we have been consumed by carnalistic illusions. What are you saying, woman of God? We have been tricked because we think the things of this world are the good things. We oh forgot God. about the spiritual things. We forgot about praying. We forgot about fasting. We forgot about believing God. We forgot about assembling ourselves. We forgot about worshiping. We forgot about Oh God, how about Sosakaya? We forgot about being in the presence of God. We mm. forgot about exalting his holy name because the world has consumed us with its goodness. The things that look good to us, the my things God. that feel good to us, the things that tickle my flesh Come and on. The smile on my face. But I want to tell you from the spirit of the Lord tonight. Come on. Those things shall surely be taken away. Those things shall surely wither away. Even this smile that gets put on my face because my body feels good. My body is going to wither away at some day. Oh God, who is God talking to tonight? You better get your house in order. I need you to put on the screen. Say self, get your house in order. Yes. Oh God. The Lord said we have been consumed by carnalistic illusions. It has compromised the way that we see things, yes. the way that we comprehend, the way that we perceive, the way even we interpret things. That is the reason why somebody can say something to you and they'll be standing out of one spirit, which might not be a bad spirit, but you will hear it out of another. The Lord said, because we're operating in the carnalistic, we think because we got the Holy Ghost and we think because we got a prayer life, we, we are all right. But the Lord said to tell the people of God, just because you've got a prayer life but have no relationship, don't mean you're about also. Don't mean you got it together because some of us have a prayer life that causes us to pray amiss. Woman of God, what are you saying? It means that we get on our faces and we pray and we ask God for houses. We pray and we ask God for cars. We pray and we ask God for materialistic stuff. But we forgot to give God praise for who he is. We forgot to ask God to rain down your anointing because we're Without your anointing, I can't destroy a yoke. Without yes. your anointing, I cannot shift. Without your anointing, I'll be stuck in the same place that I was in in 2010. Come Who on. Who is God talking to tonight? God said the shift but start in your mind. Lord. Yes. Oh, God. Mm. Come on. you got to start in your mind. Come on, come on, come on. Give me that water. Oh God, the shift must start in your mind. Come on, I'm going to verse six and seven and I'm stopping right there. The Bible says, do not eat bread of a, of a miser, nor decide, desire his delicacies. For as he thinketh in his heart, Come so on. is he. Eat and drink, he says to you, but his heart is not with you. What is a miser? What is a miser? However, it's pronounced. It is a person who hoards wealth. It is a person that spends as little money as possible. Let me sum this up for you. This is someone who is miserable, unapologetically unhappy. Come no on. Desperately broken, who has decided to make money their God. They can never be content. It is someone.
someone who appreciates money more than Bro, God. They have on. lost the ability to comprehend the spiritual intelligence of God. God said to me, the mind that is within them has been lasciviously seduced and yes. hidden and now controlled by evil illusions which have made them spiritually sick. Because of this, because the Bible says that man cannot serve both God and man. So a choice has to be made. And yeah. it's made introversally because they no longer possess the senses to know the emphatic power of God. They don't know the power that God possesses. They don't know. They don't have the ability to know anymore. Come on. We serve the supreme God. Yeah. We serve the most high God. We serve the ultimate God. Come they on. don't have the capability and the mind to know that God is above all God and he reigns forever. Oh God. Oh Jesus. The Lord said to me, they have found love in a God that pleases the flesh. So if the Bible says, I want to ask you something, men and women of God. Come if on. The Bible says that they that worship must worship in spirit and in truth. Uh -huh. Tell me how. Can you worship in a in spirit if you no longer have a spiritual right to access your kingdom mentality? How in the world can you worship in spirit and in truth mm. if you no longer have the ability to worship in a spiritual mentality? Come on. The Lord said to me, because of your lack and ability to of spiritual intelligence, it means you have become spiritually ignorant, ignorant mm. or spiritually wasted. Can you Ooh. imagine? We know the scientific definition of being ignorant. Can you imagine being spiritually ignorant? Can you imagine being spiritually wasted? Think about a man that's drunk. Think about how he acts when he's drunk. God said that if you don't shift tonight, if you don't shift in your mind first, you shall be spiritually wasted. Who is God. God talking to? God said, I'm trying to take you to a place you've never been before. Come on. I'm trying to play, take you to a position you never had before. Yeah. The spirit of the Lord saying, uh, the reason why a lot of them cannot shift, uh, secure them inside uh, is because they're not willing uh, to let go of the good. Uh, yeah. If they let go of the good, uh, I hear the Lord saying uh, that I got something great. Uh, if they let go of the great, uh, I'll show them that I got something better. Yeah. I am the God uh, that never stops beginning. Uh, I am the God uh, that never stops ending. Uh, Come I am on, the God, uh, that never stops stops blessing. I am the God that never stops healing. I am the God that never stops delivering. I hear the Lord saying tonight, if you shift in your mind, if you believe in your mind that Jesus is the Son of God, there shall be a shift that takes place in your house. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 God, do it. Do it, God. Do it, God. And the Lord said, the Lord said, he ain't talking about your home, your natural home. He ain't talking about shifting your natural home. God said, I'm going to shift your home because I'm looking for some purified vessels in this season. I'm looking for someone that I can depend on. I'm looking for someone that I can trust. I'm looking for someone that can carry my glory. I'm looking for somebody that can carry my oil without tainting it. I'm looking for somebody that can carry my love without abusing it. I'm looking for someone that can carry my authority and don't mis mistreat the people of God. Who is God talking to? God said, I'm trying to clean you up tonight that yes. you may be used for my glory clean us up the Lord, Lord saying, that the people of God has forgotten what we're truly here for we're caught up on working but not worshiping we're caught up on going to our workplace we please the boss man but we forgot to please God we try to please our children not realizing we're children ourselves we want God to bless us but we forgot that he's our father and he's the blessing I hear the Lord say 
thing. How do they want the blessing without wanting the blessing? You want God to bless you, but you don't want to bless him. Those yeah. blessings cost nothing. God said, I inhabit the praises of my people. That means when I pray God, I'm giving God something to eat. When yes. I pray God, I'm giving something, God something to live on. When I pray God, I'm giving God a resting place. When I pray God, I'm giving God somewhere to go. Yes. Somewhere he can release his anointing. Yes. Somewhere he can release his spirit. I want somebody to say tonight, God make me the house of Bethel. For those that don't know what the house of Bethel is, it is the place where God lives. Somebody say, God make me the house of Bethel. I want you to live in me. I want you to live in my mind. I want you to live in my heart. I want you to live in my spirit. I want you to live in this body. I want you to understand when you tell God you want him to live in your body. What that actually means, those of us that been laying up, that ain't married, you better get yourself together. Those of us that been going to clubs, soon as we come home from church, you better get yourself together. Yes. Those that, that have been telling white lies, saying, oh, it's just a little lie. God said, you better get yourself together because there are many people that are living off of other people's grace. There are many people that don't have no more grace. Your grace has ran up. The Bible says, oh God, the Bible says that my mercy it endures forever. I chase it through my love. But the Lord said, my mercy endures forever. He never said his grace. So what then happens to grace? Grace runs out. And I hear the Lord saying, there are many of my people that have been living on power of grace. But I'm about to render judgment, not to hurt them, not to discourage them, not to break them, but to wake them up. Somebody say, God, wake me up tonight. Shift in me, God. Oh God, oh no, 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 Shift in me, God. Shift in me, God. Shift in me, God. Oh God, this is why spiritual mental guidance is important. Woman of God, I want you to let me know when it's time because I know we had to stop a few times. Yeah. What happened when we put the old ugly devil in this place? The phone ain't rung no more. Mm -hmm. So this is why spiritual men mental gu uh, guidance is important, the Lord said. Mental health as we know it is only science and it makes sense of the, of the natural thing. The Lord said science for a long time has been trying to make sense of that of the spirit. God said it'll never happen because I made known unto no one except my servants, the prophets, or what happens in the spirit. They can try all day long, but they will never figure out the spiritual realm. They can put their own names and tags on it. They can put their own spin on it. But God said that they will never ever be able to understand through science and natural dominion of the, spirit, the word of the spirit. I wanna say something here. The Bible tells us to have wisdom. God tells us to have compassion. So what wisdom, and I'm skipping over some stuff, what wisdom and compassion says, wisdom says it is not possible. I want you to write this down if you were the one, one of the ones that went and got pen and paper. Wisdom says it is not possible to buy my way out. I understand that I got to pray my way out. Compassion says I cannot lie my way out, but I must love my way out. The Lord said to me, the mind of the people have been arrested by materialistic customs of this world. They are in a spiritual systematic prison and the fragments of their imagination have been tainted and compromised. Men cannot help us. The Lord told me to tell the people of God, men cannot help you. The real battle is in the mind of the people because their hearts have been condi conditioned to the desires of this flesh. We have no resolve because we refuse to evolve. What does evolve mean? Grow, expand, advance, change, mature, or transform. 
I want you to understand something tonight. The resolution is in evolution. God said the evolve will shift us. When we wake up to the understanding that we are the result, when we wake up to the understanding that we don't just possess power, but we are power. We don't just carry the anointing. We are the anointing. We don't just have the ability to be healed, but we are healing in the earth realm. God said we got to begin to look at this thing a little different. The Lord said he is raising up. I want you to catch this people of God. He said he's raising up and sending out regional shifters uh, to deal with the demonic territorial airways. Uh, God said in the next shift, uh, he's about to flip the world right side up. Uh, oh God, who is God talking to on tonight? Uh, God said, I'm about to shift it right side up. You will know you've been shifted, he said, if your mind has been transformed. Because the Bible says, be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. What does that mean, woman of God? That means that I will no longer think the same. I will no longer react the same. Yeah. I will no longer talk the same. I will no longer walk the same. Even those of us who are walking in leadership, God said you are a part of the shift. You are not excluded. That means that if you are in a good place, God said if you shift, get ready to go to a better place. Yes. If you believe in God on tonight, God said I'm about to do something that's going to blow your natural mind. Oh God. Hallelujah. On, I'm almost done. Yeah. I'm almost done. The Lord said to me, because he said I want you to get everything. I want you to touch every place, even the, even the secret places where the enemy has been lying in their bosom. There are people, I literally see people on your live, woman of God, that are pregnant. They've been carrying things in their womb that are good and bad. But the good stuff has been laying dormant because their flesh is stronger than the spirit. And they've been acting out in the flesh because their spirit is not strong enough to fight these things. The Lord said the reason because that is is because we have been become okay with being spiritually poverty as long as we are not suffering in poverty. We have become okay with starving the spirit and refuse to turn over our plates to, to starve the body unless we want to look good. Some of us will turn over our plate if we're, if we're, if we're uh, dieting, but we won't turn over our plates to fast. The Lord said we have become okay with depriving the spirit of spiritual vitamins, which is the word of God. But we sit up and we snack all throughout the night. God said, I didn't wake you up to snack. I woke you up to pray. I didn't wake you up to eat a meal. I woke you up to worship me, but we got a problem with turning over our place. God said we are okay with being taken to a place of inconsistency. Woman of God, how do we be okay with being taken to places of inconsistency? The Bible says a double-minded man is unstable in all of his ways. Then tell me how we are okay with being inconsistent. But the Lord says we are okay with being taken to a place of inconsistency as long as we are comfortable. The Lord said we are okay with being lied to as long as my flesh feel good, we are okay with disappointing God. As long as I can get man's approval, the book of Galatians says, and those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh with its passions and its desires. So if we belong to Christ, tell me how in the world are we okay with feeding the spirit and with feeding the flesh? Why is it okay with us to not have our mind under control. The Bible says, oh God, help me, Holy Ghost. Who is God talking to tonight? The Bible says to let the mind that be in me be the same mind of Christ Jesus. So if my mind should be like Christ, that means I should look like Christ. That means when I walk in Walmart, somebody should see Christ on the inside of me. That means when I go to the car dealership, somebody should see Christ Christ in me. I want to tell you something. The Lord said, the Lord said that the people of God, they started using all type of scriptures, even me, about the wealth of the wicked 
is laid up for the righteous. And we got so happy when the government began to release money. But the Lord said to ask the people of God, how can you be happy with a system that released money unto you when they go against everything that I stand for? How can you be excited about them giving you some money that won't even last you a month if you tell the truth? The Lord said to tell the people of God that that release was not for our making. That release was not for our good, but that release for, was for our distraction because the first thing that we did, because our mind wasn't right, the first thing that we did, we started going to the malls and buying up people's stuff. We started eating steak when all the time we've been eating burgers. We started going to the nail shops and buying all types of food. And some of us even got smart and started businesses. But the Lord says, you started your business of a false pretense. Your foundation is not sturdy because I was not in it. I was not in agreement. I never told you to move. Who is God talking to on tonight? You better say self. Get yourself together. Oh, God. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, God. Okay, we're wrapping it up, woman of God. Okay. All right. So Hallelujah. I tell, amen. <clears throat> I want to tell you tonight. Mm. Because tonight, today good was word. Pentecostal Sunday. Good word, good word. Something happened. Something happened on the day of Pentecost. Because they believed God. Watch this. Because they were all in agreement. And they believed God. They had to ab the ability to do something that we have not seen done in a very long time. So tonight, I want to challenge the people of God to sow a seed into the woman of God. This ain't no game. This ain't no show. This ain't for hypes. This ain't for none of that. This is about kingdom. God said to tell the people this is about trans transitioning from church to kingdom. God wow. said your seed, your seed of transition, to sow your seed of transition, watch this, of $23.21. Mm. This is going to transition your mind from church to kingdom because we've been church too long. The church ah. has taken us as far as it can take us. The church has taken us as far as it can take us. The Lord said he's raising up a generation of warriors, a generation of prayers, a generation of those that believe by faith 100%. 99 and a half won't do. The Lord said he's raising up a generation of warriors that will believe God and preach his word, that will not adulterate his word. And if you want to be in that transition, the Lord said to sow your seed of $23.21. The information should be pinned at the bottom of the seed, at the bottom of the screen. The next seed I want to challenge the people of God with is the seed of recovery. Because revival Ooh. is for those who believe God but has been wounded and is looking for a recovery. It's looking to get back what the canker worm ate. It's looking wow. to get back what the palmer worm ate. Looking to get back what uh, Satan stole from him. It's, the, it's called the Job's anointing. Mm. God said, I'm not going to just release back what they took from you, uh, but I'm going to release double for your trouble. Uh, for some of you, I'm going to release triple for your trouble. Uh, I want you to release a $52.30 seed. Uh, let me tell you something about obedience. Uh, obedience means I do exactly what God said. Uh, this ain't about me, uh, but it's the spirit of the Lord speaking through my mouth. Uh, I challenge you on tonight to do what the Lord is saying do. Uh, and if God don't work a miracle out for you, uh, I'll sit down and never preach another day. That's how confident I am in the Holy Ghost. Mm. I ain't cocky. I'm confident. And the last <laughs> seed that I want to tell about, the last seed that I want to challenge you with is called the spiritual increase and the spiritual recharge. Come on, the oil ain't free. I labor for what I got. I labor for this anointing. I want to challenge you on tonight to throw a $523 seed and 21 cents. If you are one of those people that says, Lord, I need a spiritual increase. I've been battling with this flesh. I've been battling with having materialistic stuff. I get some and I lose some. I get a lot, I lose 
lose a lot. But Father, I understand oh, tonight uh, that I need a spiritual increase uh, and I need a spiritual retard. Uh, God said tonight is the night. Uh, sow your seed of $523.21. And, uh, and I promise you the Lord is going to move. Uh, he's going to move in your house. Uh, he's going to move on your children. Uh, those of us that got children locked up, uh, from I'm going to free them out of the prison. Those of us that got loved ones locked up, your seat will open the door, not just of the prison in natural, but it's going to open up the seat. Oh God, it's going to open up the prison in their mind. God said, when they come out of that place, I prophesy over my own children. God said, when they come out of that place, they're going to come out different. They're not going to come out with the same attitude. They're going to come out with gratitude. They're not going to come out uh, with us in the same position. Uh, they're going to come out in advancement. Uh, I hear the Lord saying, uh, I'm increasing them, uh, even as I'm putting in your heart. Uh, oh, saying, don't grieve, move. move. Uh, because there is a real life devil uh, that wants to stop you uh, and make you believe that the word of God is not real. God said, when I touch you, uh, sow the seed. Uh, when I touch you, uh, release the seed uh, because your seed is about to produce evidence of God. Mm, 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 mm. Oh God, your seed is about to produce. Say, my seed is about to produce. Whatever seed you're sowing, the Lord said that your seed is about to produce. Your seed is about to produce that what you've been asking. Your seed is about to produce what that what you believe in God for. Your seed is about to produce, oh God, all over everywhere. I hear the Lord saying, I'm about to release that out of control miracle. I'm, ah. about, to, I'm about to release that out of control blessing. Ah. I'm about to release healing all over your body. I want to tell you something tonight. I am the evidence of what healing looks like because I have never been able to minister this long without my voice going out. That my means God. that the anointing of God healed me. That means that if God healed me because he is not a respectable person, that means he will heal you too. But yes. you got to oh God. I hear the Lord say, but you got to sow into this. You got to pay for it. Let me tell you why. Because God said he's done stuff over and over and over again. And the people have lost respect for God. They have no value uh -huh. because they feel like God is just supposed to do this. They feel like because he's God and he's my daddy, you have no other choice. But God said, because I'm a sovereign God, that's why I did it. But I'm about to make the people of God, I'm about to make the people of God so for what they want. And the reason is because you cherish your money. God said, I want to make you give up something that you cherish. Yeah. I want you to sacrifice. I want you to give a real sacrifice so you can understand the value of who I am. Oh, God. Mm, 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 mm. I want you to understand. So if you want to sow the seed of recovery, that say, God, I want all my stuff back. I stayed diligent. I stayed faithful. I stayed believing. I want to sow this $23 seed, $23.21. And if you want seed of transition, $52.30. Spiritual recharge. Spiritual increase. $523.21. I challenge you to sow that seed tonight and watch God work back into your hands, woman of God. Okay, you said, I'm just typing what you said. You said $52.30 was the transition seed. $52.30, the transition seed. Okay. And what was the third one? $523.21, which is my spiritual increase in spiritual recharge seed. Recover. No, recharge. Recharge. Seed um, of recovery what? is $23.21. Okay, okay. Um, woman of God, I want to give you the opportunity to tell the people of God how they can follow you on social media, where your church located, where you're located. Um, go ahead and use the platform. Amen. Right now, right now, I only minister on Facebook Live when the Lord leads me, and I have events over in the Orlando area. If you follow my page, Shani Kyler, you'll be able to see the many events that we put on probably once a month. 
Um, and we, we, the Lord has been opening some doors to do some traveling. Amen. So we right now just do our, our ministry on Facebook and in the Orlando area. So you have to follow my page to be able to, to do that. And when the Lord uh, releases, we will be reopening um, really soon. Yes, yes, yes. Woman of God, I want to thank you for night 26 of The Shift Is Now. I'm going to message you as soon as we get off of here. Amen. Amen. To God be glory. God, God be with y'all. Yes, listen. That was amazing. I see why uh, the devil was allowing so many people to call her phone and interrupt her live. I see why um, the devil was um, trying to take her voice and had her speaking with a mic. But baby, it was something about when she put the mic down and began to trust God that we can hear clear. It was something about when she put the crutch down, which was the mic, when she put the crutch um, down and she leaned on God that the spirit of God was really, 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 really able to move, able to move, able to move. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God is up to something and he's doing it. Do you get what I'm saying? God is up to something and he's doing it. So people of God, if you are trying to sow a seed, only if you're led by God, the information is spent to the bottom. Cash app and, and Zell is 754 Two four six zero five eight zero. PayPal is Shakira McFadden with two ends at AOL.com. Listen, I love you guys. God bless you guys. This is a wrap night 26 of the shift is now. Tune in tomorrow night. I got an awesome, mind-blowing minister that will be on at 10 p.m. Eastern time. Follow me on Instagram at evangelist.shakira. Follow me on Facebook, Shakira McFagan. And if you don't have social media, you can follow me on YouTube. Um, every night, we're in 30 days social media revival of the shift is now. Every night's live have been saved on my page and on YouTube. So you can go back and watch them if you've missed it. I love you guys. Meet me tomorrow night at 10 p.m. Eastern time. Night 26 of the shift is now is complete. I love you guys. God bless you guys. Be blessed.